Hey everybody, Claire here from Bird Cup Creation. So how are you all doing? I hope you're doing fantastic and taking care of yourselves. Right, so I have finished. Bit of an issue. This won't fit in there now. And uh, because I didn't like how the spine looked bare. I'm used to putting stuff on spines. <laughs> so I've done something in there that you'll see what. So it can either be used as a memory keepsake box or a jewellery box. Completely up to you. Right, so we'll go through this first. So as you can see, I've tied it there with grey ribbon. And on the end, you've got obviously a bicycle and a key. And then our print. And then I've done this to the spine and then we've got a cog there. And that goes into that there. We'll get rid of that bit of fluff. And then we've got some bits there. So obviously, because it didn't fit inside the box, I decided to add tabs as well. So just untie that, she says. There we go. So our hot air balloon for travel, our cogs and our keys. So and then we'll go into the first bit. And um, we've got this here, our bookmark there. So we'll see you can write on the back. And it's got stamps from all around the world. So you've got a journey. A little tab there and a little cluster. So another one of the tabs. So you've got Thailand, America with the Statue of Liberty on and then the Netherlands. So this is into our little pockets. We've got a little flip out envelope there. So these places that are like that obviously you can't write on, but you can like, put photos in these little bits here. So you've got a little pocket there. And then obviously our stamping. And then another tag there. So we've got the Netherlands. India, I think that one is, and Australia, and I can't see what that one is there. So if you haven't seen the build of this, just in case you fancy a bit of inspiration, there is videos just before this that you can check out. And there we go, there, Timeless Treasures. Then we've got two belly bands there. And obviously all our um, tea dye, this is. Then we've got a one the tag here. Um, that's Brussels, India and Egypt. And then we've got a little pocket there which is your flip out envelope. And then we've got another tag there with France. That's Germany, I think. And then Canada. I know there is one German one in there. So that's your first signature and then you go into your second signature. You've got some tickets there. Malaysia, Australia. And I think this is Austria. Don't quote me on it. <laughs> the pants full of names and countries. I'm sorry. And then we've got... Oh, don't know what that one is. Don't know what that one is. And then Australia. So plenty of writing paper. Good. I think that's Romania, and we've got Italy and London. Another envelope. Get there. There's a pocket there. So you got plenty of little pockets as well. Places to put your own mark. So a little bit of a. Uh, stenciled um, stamped fabric going on there 
and you've got a belly band there and a belly band there with Guernsey, Italy again. I can't remember, we can't see that one. Another one of France and Australia. Australia. I can't see that one. And I can't see that one either. I haven't got my glasses on, guys. So another flip out envelope. So a little tuck. Another tag there. See, I love it with this copper on. So another one of Italy. Not sure about those two there. And then to the end. Where there's another tag, and I can't see that one, and I can't see that one, and I can't see that one. <laughs> but you got stamps from all around the world. <laughs> so, if you're a traveller, you can always add your own stamps, especially you get your letters with your little stamps on. So, that's the journal completed and then this is the box okay I'll bring that bit of fabric so obviously all this is super glued down so it's not going anywhere so we're flicking it open and then i've created two secret compartments you know like the old travel chests that you used to do i'm just going to put that there so when you'd have your travel chest you'd have your clothes in one and then your bits and pieces in the top so that's how i've done it so they're both there that you've got and so they're full to the gap i am going to put a little gift in there that i made but obviously i'm not showing it on here because it's a surprise so you just pull it out like so with your actual metal buttons and then it's just got some of that lovely fabric on. And then obviously you've got, just drop that on the floor. So you've got some stamps there, a bit of stamping and your ribbon. So that's that. Let me just get this a second. There we go. Put that up there. And then you, so you've got that one there. And then you've got this one, which is obviously the deeper field because the journal was meant to go in there. <laughs> and then same again, metal box with that there, and then great big space in there as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through and look forward to starting my next journal, which is there and I'll do flip through with that. But I've got to think of the next ob um, subject to do. So if you can help, guys, greatly appreciate it. Thank you ever so much for watching. Don't forget, give a little thumbs up just to say that you've enjoyed it. And I'll catch you on the next video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy crafting, everyone. Take care. Bye.